Dashing is probably one of the most implemented features in video games, and what I mean by that is that there are at least two or three games with dashing. So why not implement it in your own game? I set up a small demo scene with a moving and jumping player. Before we implement dashing, let's add a trail renderer to our player. I like to change the width, time and color, but that's entirely up to you. Make sure to uncheck emitting as we want to control it through our script. And last but not least, we select the sprite's default material. Let's open our movement script and implement dashing. If you have seen my player movement tutorial, the script should already look familiar. First of all, we need 5 private variables. A boolean that indicates whether we are allowed to dash. A boolean that indicates whether we are already dashing. A float for the dashing power. A float for the dashing time. And a float for the dashing cooldown. We also need a serialized field to reference the trail renderer. Let's create a coroutine called dash. Inside, we then set can dash to false and is dashing to true. We don't want our player to be affected by gravity while dashing, so we store the original gravity in a variable and then set our rigid body's gravity scale to zero. Next, we set the x component of our rigid body's velocity to transform.localScale.x multiplied by our dashing power and the y component to zero. In our case, transform.localScale.x indicates the direction our player is facing, but if you're using a different flipping method, you probably need to change the code a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join our Discord server. Now, to display the trail, we enable the emitting of our trail renderer. We don't want our player to dash forever, so we stop dashing after waiting for a short amount of time. To stop dashing, we disable the emitting of our trail renderer, set our rigid body's gravity scale back to the original gravity and set is dashing to false. We also want our player to have a slight cooldown after dashing, so we wait for another short amount of time and then set can dash to true. The dash itself is done, but we are still missing the ability to trigger it. So in the update method, if we press the left shift key and can dash is true, we start our previously created coroutine. Last but not least, we simply return at the top of the update method and fixed update method if is dashing is true. This prevents our player from moving, jumping and flipping while dashing. Back in Unity, we need to reference the trail renderer in our player movement script. If we hit play now, we should be able to dash. Awesome! We recently passed 1000 subscribers and I still can't believe it. I never thought that so many amazing people would watch my videos and I'm incredibly grateful for your support. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.